Hi everyone, it's Arlene from Arlene's Creations and I'm just showing you today a real quick um, tutorial, not a tutorial, it's not a tutorial, I'm sorry, just a real quick look of an upcoming tutorial. So these are called Hypatufa and what Hypatufa is, it's it's a uh, mixture of peat moss, Portland cement, and either vermiculite or perlite. And what it does is it makes a very nice lightweight planter. And so I played around with it a little bit. I didn't want to do a tutorial in case they didn't come out good. But I did buy this planter from the Dollar Tree. And made this beautiful planter out of it. I don't know if you could see deep inside, but it's got the hole and everything for the drainage. And these are still wet, as you can see, as I'm dragging it on my table, on my craft room. Um, they still have to dry. They need to cure for like two to three weeks. So, this one I absolutely love. It's like a trough. And I used this container from the Dollar Tree for that one. Just plastic. But I embedded this sign from the Dollar Tree in it. And I put nice little um, blue stones on the top. It is absolutely gorgeous. But as you can see, see it's still wet. It needs to dry. So I need to cure them. I need to wrap them back up in their plastic bags and wait like two or three weeks. And then they'll be totally dry and ready to fill. Now these are hypatufa also, but these are made with um, hand towels from the Dollar Tree and the doilies from the Dollar Tree. So you just soak your, um, your material in the hypatufa mix and drape it over something which this was draped over um, just a jar and then that's how it dries and then you can either plant right in it or you can put a planter inside of it but this one I actually added you see the different color from this with the gray this one I actually added one um, one two ounce bottle of burgundy acrylic paint that I picked up from Michaels for like 99 cents and it actually turned it that color but you can spray paint these you can put wood stain on them or you can just leave them when when these dry they will actually be like a like a light gray color absolutely gorgeous but they're a lot um, lighter than cement because they do have the peat moss and the perlite in it. You can use vermiculite as well. Um, but I'm just loving these. I am leaving for Florida in a few days. I have a wedding to go to. I'll be there for a week. But I didn't want to do a tutorial unless I knew how these came out. So I am absolutely loving these planters. By the time I get back from Florida, they're going to be totally cured and ready to plant. I think something like this with the embed in it from the Dollar Tree will um, be perfect for Mother's Day, for Easter, with a couple of tulips or something in it, or hyacinths, or geraniums. And look how gorgeous and these last outside in the winter forever 
the longer you cure them in the bag, the longer they last. And they withstand the, the winter, the cold. Um, I saw one woman on YouTube that made them. And she's had some of her pots for over 16 years. And she just leaves them out with perennials in them. And the perennials come back every year. Yeah. So this is called Hypatufa. And I'm just loving them. And I got to give a shout out to a woman. You have to watch her YouTube channel. This is how I kind of learned how to do it. Her name is Helen Wyatt. W-Y-A-T-T, -T, I believe. But her name is Helen Wyatt. And she's from uh, Georgia. And she's the sweetest woman on the planet. She's like 80 years old. And she's out there every day in her garden doing her hypotufa. And you have to see what she has made with hypotufa. She has made bird baths. She's made fake stone, like rocks. She's made... Um, Oh my God, uh, uh, fairy houses and bird houses and ugh, tree stumps that all well, the plants are coming out of. Uh, you have to watch her. Again, her name is Helen Wyatt, W-Y-A-T-T, -T, from Georgia. So look her up on YouTube. I, she has like 118 videos and I think I have watched every single one like a hundred times yeah because now i'm obsessed with doing these planters i just want to make a whole bunch of these with the nice um with the nice things in the front from the dollar tree for my aunts and my sister-in-law and you know friends for mother's day for easter and give it to them with plant plants in it and I think I'm going to do more stones. I didn't know how the stones would, would take. But as you can see, the stones are absolutely gorgeous. And you could do any color. I happen to have the blue. And I did um, drill the holes in the bottom. Just with a masonry drill. And, uh, yeah. So you give this as a gift. And they'll have it for, for 20 to 30 years. It lasts forever. And it's gorge. And, like I said, that was formed with this uh, trough from the Dollar Tree. So, alright, I just wanted to show you a preview of the video that will be coming up very, very soon. When I get back from Florida on the 20th. Um... I have a wedding to go to, so I'm leaving on the 13th. And uh, when I get back, I will be showing everybody how to make these beautiful Hyper Tufa containers for your outside garden. That will last forever. All right. Love all you guys. Um, I'm just actually going to post this right onto YouTube, so I'm not doing like a big uh, thumbnail in the front and a thumbnail at the back but thanks for watching um, please subscribe hit that notification bell please watch Helen Wyatt on her her channel and um, yeah give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll see everybody soon when I show you exactly step by step how to make these beautiful beautiful planters for Easter and Mother's Day coming up. You're going to be so excited. Can't wait. And I also, when I get back from Florida, I also have um, a pretty large soap water for a um, bridal shower that I have to do. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing those soaps. And um, more cookie tutorials coming up. So just keep watching because uh, you know I got my hands into everything. All right, I love all you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. And I love all you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.